Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Gothic. Where previously, uh, we got a bow. And a map. Like, a piece of a map, anyway. We got kind of ripped off. And that's the, that's the basically it. We've been running around murdering wildlife, trying to level up, essentially, is how it's, how it's gone. I believe we want this one here. Now, since the last installment of this, I went into the graphics options options for the uh, for the DX11 mod and I got rid of the shadows I got rid of the dynamic shadows and I significantly lowered the world view distance and I think when I was testing it yesterday I did anyway but I think it's uh, that should have mostly gotten rid of um, the terrifyingly bad stuttering we were getting getting in the old camp I went back to the old camp after changing the settings, and I did not experience any such stuttering. But it's not a guarantee it won't happen, because, you know, it could e could just as easily be... A that was invisible, whatever that was. It could just as easily be a... a uh, oh, hello, wolf. Yeah, you're going to come and murder me, aren't you? I forgot. Oh, there's more of you. Oh, God. We're doomed. All right, well, let's just uh, reload the game and immediately turn around and go in the other direction. How about that? We're not we're not yet strong enough to deal with wolves, unfortunately. Although I'd quite like that stone root, thanks. There we go. All right. This place <coughs> is a bad place. We don't want to be here. Hello? I can take you on the other hand, though, I think. Oh, hello. Oh, boy. Oh, I thought he was dead. I actually thought the little dude was dead. Whoops. Let's drop ourselves a wee quick save outside this cave, shall we? And uh, let's also eat some it to restore that health. There we go. Let me get back to the camp and cook all my raw meat. Okay, let's drop a quick save. <laughs> the game is from 2001. Be gentle, for goodness sake. That got his attention. Uh, got all of their attention. Okay, apparently if you use a bow, you just aggro the group, which is not really... Very convenient, if I'm honest. Still a little bit of bonus damage on the way in is not bad. Doesn't help that it takes Gothic Guy an entire Ice Age to switch weapons. There we go. Apparently didn't want to go much further than the cave mouth. Oops, wrong. I did forgot to hold control while pressing right. There we go. Yeah, I, I enjoy the atmosphere and stuff of one. I, I particularly enjoy the um the setting. I think the whole um hmm, another withered axe. <coughs> I think the whole notion of a a the game being set in a prison colony that's cut off from the outside world is a really novel concept for a fantasy RPG, and I actually really like it. It's a bit different from the... Oh, fucking hell! No, wolf, go away! Not interested! Be gone! I'm gonna go find my NPC friend over here. Maybe he can save me from the wolf. Hello. Cavalorn. I don't have to use that bad, mate. Has the wolf given up? It might have given up. I 
I have, bearing in mind I haven't upgraded my dexterity at all. Um, that bow is doing some decent damage, actually, I've got to say. I'm gonna just I'm gonna steal your ride schnapps, mate. Thanks for that. And then skedaddle on out of here. I left the god rays on. Because they're just quite nice and I don't think they're really causing any issues. <laughs> yeah, let's just get back to the camp. We can explore a bit more later. Praise the sun! You get fed up with RPGs that you're like, you're the chosen one and must save the kingdom of blah blah blah. I mean, it's a fine enough narrative. I suppose. But yes, I suppose it's get a little old after a while. <coughs> Spins on the format are always nice. I've been playing Better Vice Wind Dale recently on my Nintendo Switch, and that's more like you are the chosen party that will save the kingdom. Rather than the chosen one. You are the chosen group. Which is kind of fun. Oh, here we go. We're back in the old camp now. Moment of truth. Um, yeah, which is nice. And I'm, I'm also playing Planescape Torment as well. Because it comes as a double pack with Icewind Dale on the Switch. And, uh, wow. Planescape Torment is a whole different breed of narrative. It's it's about as far from the usual conventional stuff as you can get. So, where is the frying pan? I'm sure, it was up here somewhere. It's a bit further along this way. Oh no, mud! Go away! Shouldn't have come this way. I should have gone around the long way. Get away from me, mud! Oh, here we go. The pan. There you go. Just kiss the pan. We like our. We like our. We like our steaks blue. Actually, speaking of Planescape Torment, here's a fucking hell, even it interrupts you when you're, you're when you're cooking. Do you like animals? Yeah, shut up, you degenerate piece of shit. I'm gonna kill you, I swear. Gothic guy, epic cooking sim. Anyway, what was I saying? Um, yeah, Planescape Torment. When I inevitably end up playing that game, do you reckon it'd be better off as a video series or a tw Twitch live stream series because that's something I've never been able to make my mind up on. I wouldn't like to be in his shit. There's some people. Fuck you, mud. Fuck you. I think I'm gonna. Uh, Mud's probably day, his days are numbered. I think I'm gonna murder him today. We've established that Gothic guy is a convicted criminal. In a society of convicted criminals right now, the morality is becoming increasingly blurred with every forced line of dialogue from the bastard. <laughs> hey, oh, you. it's this guy again. Now what? The time's come for you to prove. Just to get. In the bin, blood went. See ya. Not paying your stupid protection money. Oh no, he actually tells you the reason he's in here, actually. It's, it's disgusting. <laughs> so, <laughs> less than about it, the better. Where's Fisk? There he is. My man. 
Show me your goods. Baby. I have for you a tumbler, sir. Enjoy. Extract of healing, essence of healing. Ooh. All right. You could have that stone root. I nearly got traced by wolves for it. And I have a uh, rice snaps as well. Anything else worth giving to you? Uh, prob Whoa, I still have loads of raw meat to cook. Okay. Whatever, I'll start selling you some of the grilled. Oh, you don't have a lot of uh, ore left, do you, Fisk? That's interesting to know. I think I'll take some of these back, sir. I think there's another merchant in the camp actually. Uh, from the, he's the new camp guy around the other side. I think we'll go have a chat with him. Marvelissimo. How close are we to leveling up right now? Do, do, do. Ooh, not that far off. Not that far off at all. 370 XP. Hey, you! I train in swamp weed and potions from the sect camp. Do you want something? Possibly, mate. What is swamp weed? What is swamp weed? New here, are you? You can smoke it. Very relaxing for most of us. Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. Mostly I want your ore, mate. Oh, yes, he's got 200 ore. Lovely. Including... Map of the colony. Unfortunately, a big territory in the southwest is missing. I don't know why the texture for it is glitched out, by the way. Have you noticed that? Kind of odd. It looks like a... Is that... Wait a minute. That's a Skyrim map. <laughs> sort of replaced the texture of the map with the Skyrim one. <laughs> this fucking crazy modder did that. It is. It's an upside-down Skyrim map. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking that that texture looks awfully familiar for some reason. <laughs> oh my days! Anyway, I might buy some more arrows off him. To be honest, actually, I'm having I'm having good fun with the bow right now. Oh, look at the way he nods his head every time I add an arrow. Oh no 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 no! That was a that was. That was a mistake. You can have those back. What else you got? Green novice, northern dark. Ah, oh, the different varieties of swampweed. Dream call. Should we get some? Why the hell not? Right, get a bit of green novice. And uh, let's sell you the rest of this crap that we can. Look at his little head go. Someone needs to make a gothic guy like a uh, bobblehead thing. I'd buy that. Alright, give me your ore. You like the barter system from Gothic 1? I do too, honestly. I like RPGs with the barter systems in them. The menu could be a little bit less infuriating to use, but as, as a concept, I really enjoy it. There we go. Accept. I want to join the camp. I want to become a shadow. Oh, you're looking for a chance to prove your worth? Good. You can do me a favor. If you do it well, I'll speak up for you in front of Diego. What is it? In the sect camp, there's a man called Kalam. Quite a big shot. One of the gurus of the sect. Kalam is an alchemist. He has the recipe for an effective healing potion. I'd like to buy the recipe off him. Then I can produce it myself. But nobody can get near Kalam. And what do you expect me to do? The sect loonies are looking for new people all the time. 
You're new here. Just pretend you want to be recruited. Kalam is one of the gurus. That means he checks the new candidates. If you get in touch with him, try to get the recipe. Whether you want to pay for it or you don't, I don't care. Sounds like a difficult business. How much is in it for me? At some point, Diego will ask me if you're suitable for us. Just guess what my answer will depend on. <laughs> Maybe I'll have to pay for the recipe. Give me 50 ores in advance payment. Forget it. <laughs> Alright, fine. Okay, I'll see if I can get the thing. Where is the sect camp? Leave the camp through the south exit, then head eastwards. You'd better take a map. I got Ooh, another one map. Here for 50 oh. The south exit is the collapsed tower, isn't it? Exactly. I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. Well, this is perfect because this gives us an opportunity to actually do the little quest for this guy here. To go to said camp. Get some free XP. So I like that. We've got a narrative reason to do that shit now, which is good. What I want to do, though, have some of my swamp weed. I rotate the camera around with the, with the mouse. Yeah. There you go. We had some swamp weed. I'm not sure if it did anything for us. More drag, yeah, this is the guy I was looking for. Uh, oh, perfect. There's a pan right here. It gave me 5 XP, did it really? <laughs> Rip free ore. I figured he was like, not, he was just gonna be, you know, you know how these games are, like, if I pushed him far enough, he might have just decided, right, no, fuck you, dude, I'm not doing this at all. The quest is cancelled. So I decided to err on the side of caution there. And not push him too hard. Hey, newcomer. I'm Mordrag. You should remember that name. You can buy any kind of goods from me at a cheap price. <laughs> What's that guy doing? Show me your goods. Choose something. What's he got? Teeth. Tumbler. Plate. Torches. Not a, a pitiful amount of ore. Okay. More drag. You're officially useless, mate. I'll take your arrows, though. Oh, I have a spare axe I could give you. Yeah, have the axe. Yep, 10 for 10, that works out perfectly. Personal <laughs> space isn't a thing in Gothic, yeah. <laughs> I hear meat bugs. Yes, it's you. The meat bugs that are impossible to kill because... Oh, there we go. I actually did it. Last time I played Gothic, I spent like a good 10 minutes trying to kill this meat bug. What's the RP build for this LP, by the way? I don't really have one, mate. I've, uh, I've only really played like the opening couple of hours of this game in the past. I think the furthest I ever got with Gothic 1 was like the old mine. So, um, oh, fucking Ellie's back. Um, I've got a bow now, though. Get lost, yeah. Get lost. You want to be on your own for a while, do you? Uh, I, I understand. I I'll stay in the background. There was a time when things could be done every differently. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah, I've never even gone to the point where a magic became available for me in this game, so. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm playing largely blind, to be honest with you, because everything I do remember is all lost in the f 
foggy haze of memory because I've not played the game for ages and uh, beyond a certain point I've never actually gotten any further so I'm just kind of muddling my way through here at the minute for the most part my build so far has been upgrading strength and nothing else so I'm afraid I don't have a build in mind because I've not you know, played the game enough to know what I should be doing Those bastards from the new camp will be amazed when they get to know that I have a protector. They'll piss themselves. That'll be fun. <laughs> Normally they'll finish people off quickly, but now they'll think twice. Mud, it is time for you to die. The time has come, I'm afraid. Come with me, we're going on a little journey. Current build is, is try to get strong enough to take on wolves, yeah. <laughs> Current build is someone please give me some armor. Please. Okay, there's some new camp guys over there, but I doubt they'll care. You know what? I'll do you a favor. I'll put in a good word for you. Yeah, no, I don't think anyone cares what you have to say, Mud. I don't think he's like Gaynor from Morrowind. Gaynor is a whole, whole other thing. This guy's like Nuba from Baldur's Gate. Oh, he's got some more. Lovely. And water and a club. Yeah, you can't keep that, mate. Uh, he's not actually dead. I've just beat the snot out of him and robbed him. I'm going to see what happens if I just leave him like that now. Hey, man, you hit me. What, what was that for? I'll hit you again in a second. I'm into that. <laughs> You're a lunatic, man. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Oh, perfect. There we go. We didn't have to kill him and we've gotten rid of him. Mud is literally worth no XP. <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, beautiful. Happy day. I just jump for joy now. There you go, look. What are you what are you jumping for, gothic guy? I finally got rid of mud! Oh, I I see. P perfectly understandable. Did they just... Wait a minute. Did they just kill Mud? <laughs> Hold on. Or was that, was that just a random scavenger that came after me or something? Oh, it was a Bloodfly. All right, I thought they killed Mud then for a second. Holy shit, Bloodfly wings are worth a bit, aren't they? Hey, bridge guards. You want to help me make some money? What was that accent there? It's no worse than this guy's accent. Is that the old camp over there? No, that's the new camp. The old camp oh, is, is under... Is the, the other guy that has the outrageous accent? Is it you? What are you doing here? What's it look like? Regarding the bridge, of course. Yeah, there you go. We make... It was a very specific uh, gothic me... one English dub NPC accent, my friend. That's what it was. We should probably heal ourselves if we're going to do this. Do you want me to mess you up? Put that thing away. You fuck off, God. Ugh, this is not working. What up, blood flies?
All right, when in doubt, just smack him with an axe. <laughs> Wasted a few hours there, but at least they're cheap. I don't think it's the accents being different that people object to, Mayhem. It's the accents being terrible. <laughs> But since it's a fantasy RPG, you can always fall back on the excuse of it. it's a fictional accent. Hello, scavenger friend. You know, uh, do you know, I'm not going to kill you. I'm getting to a point now where I don't want to depopulate the scavenger. Well, population any more than I have to because uh, I could I could be getting more money from them if I if I wait until I learn the hunting skills first. Why does the uh, the, the magical barrier sometimes flare up like that? I've, I've been wondering. My head cannon back in the day was always that it. And this uh, this happens whenever um, someone new is chucked in. But I, I don't actually know why it does that. Scavengers don't really give anything once you learn skinning. <coughs> well, I can get. There's like three different skills. There's one for fur. There's one for teeth, and one for claws. And I, I assume scavengers must at least give you claws. Animals respawn at the start of every chapter. Yeah, someone told me that last time. Hello, Bloodfire friends. Oh, he's gonna kill me. He's gonna. Oh, that was close. Oh, fucking hell. No. No! No, Mr. Wolf, no! I don't want to play or become your lunge. Okay, we're good. I think I'm just going to go rest in Diego's hut now. Instead of consuming, like, half a dozen healing items to, to restore my health. Flares up when it's raining, so it might be leaves blowing against it or something. Oh, interesting. Mud is kill. Well, mud is not kill. We just beat mud up, took his lunch money, and now he's left us alone. Thank Christ. You slept well and feel better. There we go. Oh, it's raining. Speaking of rain. Or it was raining. Doesn't feel like it is now. Felt like it was raining for like 0.1 seconds there. Everything seems to have a wet shader applied to it. It's kind of weird. Not sure I like it very much. <laughs> Whatever. Including ourselves, actually. Look, we're all wrapped in cellophane now. Mud is not people. <laughs> Thanks for the stone root. Oh dear lord, is there not some way to turn the shader effect off? Probably not, is there? Tessellation. Whoa. That's weird. 
can make the rocks round. I'm gonna turn that on. See if what see what it ends up screwing up. <laughs> World mesh tessellation. Oh boy. Oh, it doesn't seem to do anything. What is this sorcery? I know. Atmospheric scattering. Just seems to change the skybox, if I'm honest. Not much else. Wireframe world. Some rain stuff here. Rain scene wetness. Just wondering if there's a way to turn off the horrible wet textures. But I don't know. Whatever. Apply, I guess. <laughs> Look at this beautiful round rock. <laughs> it's like tessellation just works for the rocks and nothing else. <laughs> Not even all the rocks, just some of them. Might be one of those things where you have to like reboot the game for it to sort of actually work or something. Oh wait, no, look, this tree stump's been made round as well. It's kind of going all glitchy and weird, but it are round. Oh, fucking hell. All right, that's a pair of dinosaurs. I don't think I'm interested in you guys. Bye. This is a bad place. Full of wolves and velociraptors. We do not wish to be here. Flailing, epic gothic guy. Flailing, wee, wee. Is it tessellating the trees as well, I wonder? These trees look pretty round, but then again, I'm not sure. No, I've got to be honest, the tessellation is horribly cursed. Let's not do that. <laughs> uh. Do, 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 tessellation. What was that? Frustrum culling. What does that even mean? World mesh tessellation. No, no, no. Inclusion culling. Probably don't need that actually. Tessellation off, there we go. Yeah, it was actually working on the tree logs. No, I I I I'll go with the original pointy pointy rocks, thank you. <laughs> uh I'll get rid of this. There we go. Sorry. Sorry to smash your immersion into a million pieces, everybody.
pretty mad idea having tessellation in a game from 2001. But, uh, yeah, no, thank you. I, I genuinely think the game looks better since I turned off the damn dynamic shadows as well. They were just flickery and weird and they moved way too fast. Not to mention the game runs better. My immersion! My immersion! I don't think we went this way, did we, last time? That last time I tried circumnavigating the camp. I don't think I went this way. Scavenger friends. A waterfall. Some easy experience in them thar hills. <laughs> well, those, that's a pair of wolves. So I'm not interested in them. Look at these forests, though. How impressive are these forests for 2001? Took Bethesda until 2000 and bloody three or whenever it was, whenever Oblivion came out, to actually add some honest to goodness forests. All right, my chickeny friends. Level up, way nice. That's what we came for. Right, time for me to go get some hunting skills. What's the quickest way to do that, I wonder? Probably going through the camp rather than around it. Although, um, yeah. <laughs> Jump over the wall. Save. Don't know when the last one was, so. We could learn lock picking off of uh, fingers. That would be an easy recommendation for Diego. But I kind of want to spend my skill points on the hunting stuff first. We'll figure out the rest later. I don't know how many skill points it's going to cost me this. So, Oh look, more floating hammers. Very good. I've been able to get rid of that glitch. Right, my new camp hunter friends. Where are you? Splosh. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. God, I had a little little issue with the geometry there. That's not really so. Hello, Drax, I'm back. What else uh, if you Okay. Uh let's see. Skin reptiles hundred oh my god. I don't know how much ore I've actually got right now, to be honest. I mean just I mean I'll look. Three hundred and twenty three, alright, good. What else can you tell me of a lot if you know at least? All right, I think one definitely want to remove claws. Show me how to take off the claws. Actually, it's quite simple if you know what to do. Bend the claws forward, never backwards, and you mustn't pull them out either. Claws can be taken especially from lizards. From now on, you'll know which creatures claws to take. Okay. Uh Remove teeth. 
How do I get the teeth? The most important thing is to make sure the teeth don't splinter. To avoid that, put your knife near the center of the tooth and lever it out carefully. You can take the teeth of wolves, shadow beasts, and snappers. Uh -huh. Very fair. Yeah. How can I skin these creatures? It's very important to skin them from the back to the front. Once you get the hang of it, it'll be easy. Furs are very valuable. The furs of wolves and shadow beasts can be used to make clothes. When you examine the fur of a killed animal, you'll soon notice if it can be used or not. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to skip skin reptiles for now. Because money. 123 oil left, so and I might want to spend it on a few things like a better melee weapon. I'm not sure. Wolves, yes. I'm going to try and kill a wolf now so I can get its pelt. I could just get one wolf by itself. Like, hang on a minute, there's one wolf by itself up here, isn't there? Yeah. All hunting skills are a great investment. Yes, yes, yes. That's why I was determined to get them as early as I really seriously could. We can worry about everything else later. <laughs> he's running animation when he's got his axe out. It's so funny. How far away can we try and hit this guy from with our bow? At least he doesn't attack me until we get an actual hit. Which is taking a while. Probably because of the range, right? And my low skill. Oh, come on, game, really? Finally, there we go. Oh, good, just in time. I need to run out of arrows. Oh! <sighs> Wolves suck. I'm going to need every bit of health for this, aren't I? So I don't know what's happening. Gothic guy's doing a little dance right now. That was kind of weird. I'm not sure how I feel about that. That was oh, oh good. We've managed to spawn some raspberries in midair. Very nice. All right, all right, all right. Get get your axe out, Gothic guy. Come on. It's going to load or is it crashed? Feels like the game's having a moment here. Just gonna kill it. Uh, where is there? You go. Let's try that again, shall we? Actually dying in a 21 year old game. Ha 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 ha. So very funny. Hilarious stuff. 
I need to load a game and then do the quick load. He's <laughs> just casually scratching himself as I attempt to shoot arrows at him. Oh yeah, strike sideways they said. That'll work great they said. Maybe I should get the arrows all together. Seems like I get beyond a certain range and I just auto miss. Here he comes. <sighs> Can you switch weapons while running? Oh, you can. Okay. That's actually really helpful. For some reason, I just assumed you couldn't. All right, my dude. Oh, hey, there he did it. I didn't even lose any health either. Although that was a bit of an all or nothing scenario. Wolf skin, it's worth a whole 10, everybody. That was so worth it, guys. <laughs> that was so worth the bother. Better be something good in this chest. Okay. No. I'm running out. I'm running out of log picks. Damn it. Well, there might be something good in there. I just can't get into it. This one locked. Yep. Uh, I think Fisk sells some lockpicks, doesn't he? And you know what? I've still got, I've still got skill points to spend. Let's go visit Fingers as well. It's like risking your life to earn five quid. Yeah, it is, but isn't it? <laughs> life is hard in the colony. Clicks. Yes. <laughs> Who's the guy that teaches one handed? I'm sure there's a guy around here who teaches that. Cavalon, Drax. Gatti, master of the arena. Okay. I don't know if I have enough money for him, though. I have to sell some more stuff. Luckily, I have collected a few things worth selling, so... Do I have any more raw meat on me? Yeah, I do. I need to find a frying pan. <laughs> There's a better deal in the new camp if you could make the trek. Yes, there is. Probably. I don't know if I'm going to make the trek. I don't know how to get there, for one thing. And I don't have a map that will take me there, so... Without outsider knowledge, like you guys telling me how to get there, I wouldn't be able to right now. And please don't tell me how to get there, I don't want to know. Like 
Where are you, Fisk? Uh, wait, is anyone around here got a frying pan? We got a big stonking great fireplace, but no frying pan apparently. Although, hang on a minute, isn't Fisk out of out of ore right now? Show me your goods. Yeah, he kind of is. He's got he's got the lockpicks at least though. So that's oh god, they're expensive. worth from it. opening this chest yeah you're probably right irritatingly do you know how lock picking works in this game yes you have to do the left right combination and every time you get it wrong you break a pick so getting basically any chest open is going to be expensive in picks Scatty. I want to join the camp. Can you help me? Oh my god, what's I happening might back there? Be able to, swamp dude. To me. He's been hitting Some the swamp weed a little too hard. All three camps come here to compete against each other. Challenge one of them to a fight. I'll watch you, and if you're good, maybe I'll think about it. I thought the old camp and the new camp didn't get on. So why do you let their people fight here? It's simple. There's fights here once a week, and the diggers always like to see one of the rogues from the new camp get flattened. If one of them fights, there's more bets, and that's good for business. Personally, I can't stand the swines from the new camp. But business is business. Do you train fighters at all? Yeah, but not just for fun. If you want me to train you, you'll have to pay for it. One handed sword level one fifty or ten skill. Oh what? I want to improve my level of one. Yeah, Come that's gonna it's it's a whole ten. That's some bullshit, my friend. All right, where's fingers? Fingers, where you at? He's around here somewhere, isn't he? Yeah, there he is. What can you teach me? And that depends on what you want to know. I wish to learn how to sneak around. That doesn't seem to cost anything. I want to learn how to sneak around. I believe, no false modesty, that I'm one of the best thieves they ever chucked into this colony. But when it comes to teaching how to sneak around, Cavalorn is the better oh, man okay. for you. All right, uh, open, not interested in pickpocketing, but open locks. Also 10 skill points. Holy shit. Okay, fine. Not getting that either, apparently. I guess with my checks notes. Uh, seven skill points. I guess all I can do really is talk to Diego and spend them on that because everyone else wants 10 for him. How many points do you get for a level up? You get 10, so... Like if I wanted to learn get get level one, one-handed, then level one pick pick uh, lock picking, I I need to level up twice to do that. And as I look, continue leveling up, that's going to get harder and harder. Mud detected. Punch him. No, no, I'm not going to provoke the mud again. It's the last thing I need. Can you teach me something? Yes, I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. Uh, let's see. Let's let's get a bit of dexterity, shall we? Plus five. There we go, and some strength. I can't teach you anything. You okay. don't have. Cool. 
Your strength has increased. Your skills in using the bow and the crossbow have improved. Come hey. back soon. Not improved by much, but they've improved a little. Probably means I can get a little bit more alpha strike damage on walls with it, you know. Which is something at least. Yeah, 15 dexterity now. That's, that's, that's better, than, better than 10. It's technically better than 10. Cool. All right, let's let's have a little review here. So, what, uh, Dexter wants us to go to the set camp and speak to what was his name? Kalom. Yeah. Um, we know a guy that can take us to the set camp if we want to pretend we're going to join. Uh, Diego wants us to go to the old mine, and that seems to be it for actual quests. Speaking of Alpha Strike, did you get any further with MechWarrior 5? No, I, I haven't played it much, I have to admit. <coughs> I've been playing... Well, like I said, Planescape Torment and Icewind Dale on the Switch. And on my PC. Um, Oblivion. Actually, I've been playing Oblivion and War on the Sea with the Tokyo Express mod, which has been really cool. And a bit of uh, State of Decay 2, actually. Which is also pretty good. Still don't have Disco Elysium. Everyone always bangs on about how it's an amazing RPG, but no one ever actually wants to tell me why it's so amazing. So I just, I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna get something else instead. <laughs> Tessellation's been turned back on. That won't do. I guess it's tied to your save game, huh? Realism is from Estonian developers, but for you it's too much reading. Yeah, Planescape Torment can be a bit like that. I think I think Torment for me like really kind of like is smack dab on the on the on the absolute edge of how much reading I'm willing to do in an RPG. Any more and it would have been an unacceptable. Gothic guy. I need you to swim, my dude. Banzai! Creatures, aren't they? I can never quite get this to work properly. This left to right thing. 
I think you have to time it just right. I'm not. Sometimes he swings back in the other direction, sometimes he doesn't. He just ignores my command. It's part of what makes the fights difficult, frankly. Hello, wolves. Yeah, I'm not taking on two of you at the same time. That is not fucking happening, mate. <laughs> we have a cave. What, pray tell, is in the cave? If, if we're lucky, it's more rats. If we're unlucky, it's wolves. Or something worse. All right, the answer is bugger all. Fair enough. Oh, well, I... Seraphis won that. Gib Seraphis. Actually, I see, I see a blood fly. Could I possibly... This is like quick save the game, you moron territory. I don't think Gothic guy really understands how to lead targets, does he? Oh boy, hello. I got their attention. Yep. <laughs> well, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, no, let's not do this. Oh, gothic guy, just, just, just climb up, please. Just please climb up here, please. The line between what he's willing to climb up and what he's not willing to climb up is very thin, apparently. I'm just going to tweak my camera here with the mouse slightly. I need a little more top-down action here. There we go. I think one or two of the one of the few games that actually made the forest scary. <laughs> well, there was a dark forest in uh, Oblivion Unique's landscapes that's scary, but for entirely unrelated reasons. What up, scavenger? Oh, for goodness sake, man! There you go, Gothic guy. You finally hit the target. Oh, Jesus, no! Oh. <laughs> it was a trap! I see a couple more out. Hello, mole raddies. A little mole rat dance. Gotcha. To you too, sir. Would you recommend this game to your average old school RPG fans? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a different. It's not. It's a different kind of game to like your 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 Baldur's Gates or your Icewind Dales. That's for bloody sure. Totally different kind of game. 
This is one a game that you'll probably appreciate more if you're a fan of Deus Ex or Morrowind. Controls are insane for a new player. I mean, if you've played any of the classic Tomb Raider games, you'll 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 be fine. If you've played any classic Tomb Raider, you'll be right at home here. Um, for anyone approaching it from a new angle in that, you might struggle with the controls initially, but you'd be surprised how quick, actually, you do get used to it. Blueberries, which are not blue. Have you noticed that? They're clearly raspberries. <laughs> I wonder if I can just Rambo this and just kill a whole bunch of blood flies really quick. Oh no, I'm not going to be able to because there's a wolf there. Nope, nope, nope. Ganked. Like a chump. I wish to be on the other side of the river. Hello, wolves. I'd like to get past you, if at all possible, without aggroing you. It's going to be a tall order, though, isn't it? Just go, 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 go. Keep jumping, gothic guy. Keep jumping. I want to get to those juicy, juicy scavengers down the road here. How are we doing for XP? We are while while off 5,000, aren't we? Hello, I'm Gothic Guy. I'm here to murder you all. Or get murdered by you all. That's also an option. <laughs> Let's try that again. Screeching intensifies. For once in your life, Gothic Guy, could you actually do the reverse swing? when I tell you to. Flipping it. No, I can do bear. I can do bear. Save scumming, everybody. Do your reverse swing, you loon! <laughs> Victory squawk. Uh. Whatever, that'll do. <sighs> I'm about to get refunded this meat anyway. Meat. I did slightly better, technically. I had I had a slightly larger slither of health left at the end of that one. Right, where are you? I saw you, mole rat. You're mine. Oh god, it's a wolf right there. Back away. Into a tree. Look at that little scavenger there, right between a pack of blood flies and some wolves teasing me. You little shit.
Surprised more rats don't have teeth you can use. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Uh-oh. Well, you know what? We haven't even tried so far. Let's see how far we get with a pair of dinosaurs. Snappers. If we can kill these guys, we'll probably loot them with some nice stuff, actually. Oh, they have a big aggro range, these guys, don't they? Oh, dear. <laughs> I have vivid memories of these fuckers from when I first played Gothic. I took the guy, I, I, I decided, screw it, let's go to the swamp camp and join, jo joined up with the guy who takes you there and immediately you. runs you right past a bunch of snappers. God. How about the dinos? Oh my god, look at their health. <laughs> okay, this is not happening. This is not happening. <laughs> the way is shut. Okay, let's just let's leave. No, oh, what was that? That's there. Oh, that was a graphical glitch. That's no, no. Hang on. Is there something here? It's like a tiny little square on the ground. I don't seem to be able to do anything with it though, so I guess I don't care. What's up this hill up here? There's some ruins up there. I'm gonna go check it out. Cause why not? Probably because it's full of nasty monsters, but aside from that, why not? Uh already searched this chest, oh well. Plate. Now I judge it actually does occur to me, having said all everything I said about lockpicks earlier, about how like you um you know, like you you end up expending loads of them to get a chest open, and then it's probably never worth it. There is a solution to that, and that solution is, of course, save scumming the lock picking to figure out the sequence and then reload and then do the sequence correctly with just one pick. Which I'm pretty sure. Oh my god! Okay, that's the game basically saying to you, "No, mate, sorry, you're not going this way." The sequence is changing arc a lot. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, that's just cruel. <laughs> but um, yes, I'm pretty sure that's how I used to lock pick in this game back in the day. I would just save scum it. Because honestly, like this game's got it in for you anyway. You might as well take every advantage you can get. Ooh, weird tower over there. Also, that's a couple of orcs, isn't it? They are very much not worth messing with. Anything down there? Nope. Just death. Germans are known for liking simulator games. Gothic being safe scum simulator makes it no exception. <laughs> this is a late game area. Yeah, I I, uh, I notice. I'm just kind of curious to see how far I can actually get here. Pushing the envelope, that's me. Oh god, those... Hello. Alright, well there we go. I found a really dodgy looking waterfall and an orc. Cool. We're watching you, scum. 
Head Skull, thank you very much for 26 months of subage. Willkommen zurück. Or whatever it is in the German. Willkommen zurück. Zurück. I can't. I can never pronounce that fucking word properly. I mean, you know, properly in air quotes. Just, it's just like, like, like a, a funky R in the middle and then phlegm at the end. It's difficult. All right, it's just difficult. Herzlich willkommen zum Augsburg. Umlaut, yes. The umlaut is a very sensible thing. I'd be very much in favour of that being introduced in English. Very sensible con concept. You know, it just accented letters in general, actually. Because the French do that with their with their E's, you know. You get the little accent that goes one way or the other to tell you whether it's like an E or an A sound. Jolly sensible, if you ask me. And then you have the Finns who just take the piss. Alright, uh, well our choices now are get to Swamp Camp or go to the mine. I'm voting on mine, honestly. Swarmy bed, Gilly. It's like the only two words of finish I know. Also, no, no sauna. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Swarmy bed killer sauna. There you go. That's all you need, right? There's also a new camp crate. Yeah, I can't figure out how to get that to trigger, though, is the thing. Because I've spoken to Mordrag a couple of times, but he doesn't seem keen on taking me anywhere, because I'm pretty sure it's Mordrag that takes you to the new camp, right? Oh, it's from Thoris. Oh. Uh... Okay. Talk to the blue guy. Yeah, I know, more drag. But we need to talk to Thoris first, apparently. Now, I don't. I, don't I, I think the trip to the new camp isn't actually that dangerous, so it's probably some easy XP. The swamp camp trip is the, is the one that takes you past a bunch of fucking snappers, if I recall. I'm quite capable of doing anything you tell me to. Oh, so you're intent on failing, eh? There is one thing that only someone who's not with Gomez can see to. But I'm warning you, you blow this and you'll be in mighty big trouble. I'm ready for your task. What I'm about to tell you is between you and me, and nobody else must ever hear about it. Understood? Sure. We have a problem with a guy from the new camp. His name's Mordrag. He's been stealing from the ore barons. Of course, that applies to a lot of the rogues in the new camp. But this guy has the nerve to come to our camp and sell our stolen goods to our boys. He's gone too far. But he knows I can't do anything about it. Why? Because he's under the protection of the mages. Why do the mages protect that Mordrag? Because they use him as a gopher. Our local mages are in contact with the mages over in the new camp. They often send gophers back and forth. They're likely to become very unpleasant if I throw one of their gophers out of the camp or have him killed. What about me? What do you think the mages will do to me? 
You're new here. You'll be okay. But I'm responsible for what my boys do. That's why it's vital that you keep your mouth shut. Do we deliver the letter to the mages? No, 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 Alan. We're, we're going through this entire rigmarole just so we can get into the castle and speak to them. Where can I find Mordred? You'll find him at the south gate on the other side of the castle, just beyond the entrance. The bastard wouldn't dare come any further into the camp. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to kill the guy? I want you to make sure I never see his face around here again. I don't care how you do it. Sounds to me like the mages are your problem. Yeah, but they're a problem that's hard to solve. A few years back, one of the shadows tried to stab the high magician of the Circle of Fire while he was sleeping. They found him later in the Outer Ring. In fact, he was scattered all over the Outer Ring. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Okay. Let's go have a chat with more drag. I suppose there's also the arena. What's his face did say? I could try and fight somebody in the arena, right? Although I don't fancy my chances. I'd like to challenge you to a fight in the arena. What? But I don't want to fight. Why don't we just have a beer together and talk about the outside world? <clears throat> I want to fight, now. In that case, I'm ready when you are. You wouldn't fight without a bad weapon. Here we go! Let's fight. Are you ready? Follow me. Doodly doodly do. This is going to be weird. Is he going to immediately turn on me as soon as we get in here? Uh. Now what? Come on, put that thing away. What? We're gonna fight, dude. You're learning fast. What? Right. Okay. Let's get to it. May the best man win. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That that went Don't about as well as I expected it to. Yeah. You're not having my ult, mate. Absolutely not. Come on. I want to pass. All right. Forget that then. It's just like this game to give you access to a quest like that at such a low level and then actually have it be like, ha 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 ha, we got you, player. Ha 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 ha, we tricked you. It's actually meant for a higher level character than you. Um, so, yeah. Whatever. But, you know, I'm, I don't, I might, you know, it's cheeky. But at least I prefer it to, you know, the the Daggerfall school of doing things, which is you can't even attempt the quest unless you're at the the requisite level. So I do, I do at least like the fact that Gothic's willing to just say, you know what, player, you give it a go, see how you get on. The camp ain't big enough for the both of us. I think this guy can take you to the new camp, and I feel like that's worth doing for the XP, but on the other hand... This camp ain't big enough for the both of us. This camp ain't big enough for the both of us. Pardon me? <laughs> That would be my reaction as well, Pop. Excuse me. There ain't no room for people who steal from the ore barons. Oh, that's what you mean. Why didn't you just say so? 
Oh, uh, how predictable. <sighs> uh oh. Stutters are back. Come on, I want to pass. Not as bad as they were before though, technically. Okay, game, you can stop this anytime you like. Any time you okay. When I said stop this, I didn't mean freeze completely. <sighs> Bloody game! <laughs> God damn it! The new mods that make the bugs appear. It probably is, but like I said before, it, I needed the mods to get rid of other bugs. They've just replaced the other, other bugs with new ones. So. One track slapped me a little too hard, yeah. Come on, I want to pass. He slapped me back to my desktop, that's what he did. Alright, screw dealing with more drag then. I guess the only path left to us is, is the is going to the mine. And I've done the mine before in the past when I've played this game, so I know it's doable at this point. So I think we're gonna go to the mine for Diego finally. Yeah, I can ask him to take me to the new camp, but like, then I end up in the new camp, and I don't really want to be in the new camp, guys. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to really be halfway across the map. That's the really inconvenient part, you know? It's like, okay, fine, I guess I get some XP, but I don't actually want to end up in the new camp. I want to be here so I can go do the the mining stuff. Are you really the magician's courier? What if I am? I'd like to have a chance to talk to the magicians. I have to get inside the castle. The magician's couriers bear seals, which allow them entry to the castle. If you were one of us, you could get such a seal. Actually, to be honest with you, I might end up joining the new camp. I haven't decided yet. I I, I don't think I want to go swamp camp. Because they're a bunch of weirdos. But between old camp and new camp, I'm not sure I really care that much, I suppose. Other than I kind of feel obligated a little to Diego, because, you know, he bailed us out at the very start. You have a problem. Really? What's that? There are people around here who want to get rid of you. Really? Then you can tell them they should send someone along to enforce their wish. What makes you so sure I'm not the one to do it? Because <laughs> I think you're smarter than that, boy. You'll soon realize that there are better opportunities than working for Gomez. We, too, need capable people in the new camp. And nobody tells you what to do. Tell me more about the new camp. It's the camp where you have the most freedom within the colony. We don't have any ore barons or gurus bossing us around. We have our own mine, but the ore that is produced there isn't given to the damn king. So what is it used for? Our magicians are working on a plan to break out of here. All the ore is collected for this plan. While Gomez and his people are lazing around, we drudge for freedom. That's what's going on. And if I wanted to join the new camp, could you help me? If you're serious, we can go now. I can take you to Laris. He's the head of our gang. But if you prefer to beat me out of the camp, well, go for it. All right. Let's go to the new camp. Okay, follow me. I have to admit, I prefer the new camp's outfits to the old camp's. 
Not that that's really worth much in the grand scheme of things, but... Like, Mordrag's outfit is better than your pyjamas, mate. I'm sorry, but... I like, I like, I mean, I like the armor that the, that the guys like Thoris are wearing. That's pretty cool. But like the, the, the regular little shadows with their patchwork trousers that are slightly too short. Nah, not doing it for me. Oh, the bloody tessellation's turned on again. <laughs> Whatever, forget it. Can't be bothered to disable it again. You're like mage, so you usually go old camp. Do you need to go old camp to, to uh, be a mage then? Or are there other ways? Praise the round rocks. And the round tree stumps. Old camp is fastest mage. Oh, okay. Because a lot of people have been saying the mage is really cool in this game, so I have to admit I am tempted. Oh, we're here. Okay. Just grab that. Oh, he's polite enough to wait for me, at least. All right, more drag. I'm going to let you murder all the wolves for me, and then I'm going to loot them. Is that okay? You murdered the shit out of me, so I'm sure you're going to be fine with these guys. Oh boy. Yep. He's going through walls like they're scavengers. Oh, I even get experience. That's amazing. Thanks for the pelts and stuff. This was a brilliant idea. Those guys. Hey, I'll just hold up a minute there, Mordrag. I want to see who this guy is. Hello. What are you doing here? I'm a hunter. I make a living out of selling skins and teeth. Does it pay? If you know how to cut up the beast the right way. Yeah. Oh, I want to learn how to cut up animals. What do you want to know? Skin reptiles. Oh, he's just the same stuff as the other guy. Okay, cool. Whatever. Can I take this? And this? And this hammer, for some reason, and a chest that isn't locked, hooray! Uh, arrows, yeah. Healing. Oh, magic. Beer, and some pig locks. Don't mind if I do. More drag, you haven't gone anywhere, have you? Blueberries, give them... Ah, oh, he's still here, good. Gotta pay the gothic guy tax, yeah, absolutely. Mushrooms. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Badger, 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 badger. Oh my god, goblins, hello. I'm helping! I can help you kill gobbos! Hey, look, I killed a gobbo! Am I not amazing? Rusty sword and my blueberries! Give, give them, oh for god's sake gothic guy, just pick up the blueberries, there we go. <laughs> There's a cat meowing outside the door at the minute, he wants his din dins. We're going to have to end the stream pretty soon, I think we'll probably end it when we get to the new camp here. However, okay left, okay no, saves come! Left, left, right. Hey, 
Picnocks, beer, arrows, and a oh, a not inconsiderable amount of ore. Thank you very much. Hell yeah. Let's keep going, more drug. Oh, can we murder these scavengers, mate? Can we you just you you're right. You're gonna wait for me. All right, good. Cheers. He's going to watch me get murdered by the scavengers. Yeah, four, four scavengers seems to be about my limit for some reason. That's the, sort of the maximum I can do. Hey, all my meat bug ragu. There we go. Okay, it's getting like proper dark now, isn't it? Luckily, I think I do have some torches. Uh, there we go. Although, <laughs> it's not casting any light. <laughs> oh, completely, perfectly useless. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh, it's because I need shadows enabled. Uh. <laughs> god, I guess I'll turn shadows back on for now then. Oh god, what is happening? There we go. Apply. Close. <laughs> yeah, that's a graphics mod problem. Just every time I use a, a torch from now, I'm, I'm going to have to turn the shadows back on, apparently. A little bit annoying, but as is this weird shadow, but hey. Oh, here we are. Jolly good. Well, here we are. When you pass through the gate, you'll reach the new camp. Talk to Lars. He will help you. Give this to him. It's a precious ring. It's your ticket to see Lars. You need a good reason to be allowed to meet him. Well, thinking about it, I think I'll stay here for some time. I've earned enough for now, and things are heating up in the old camp. If you want, come and meet me at the bar. It's the hut out on the lake. Take care. See you. Doodles, Mordrag. So, everybody. The new camp. I wonder if there's a way to sort that out somehow. If we go advanced. Do 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 do. It's not like with an ENB where it's just there's a there's a global off switch. Unfortunately. Just switch that to static and enable shadows. That doesn't make any difference. Oh, hold on. Disabled. Hey, there we go. Disabled. That's what we want. Point light shadows off completely. Apply. Uh oh. Wait, are we good? What's happening, Gothic? There we go. Right. Lovely. We've sorted it.
brilliant. I installed a graphics mod and then have proceeded to spend lots of time disabling all the bits of it. What's going on with this guy? Oh, we got more weird uh, texture issues. Their heads are all blacked out. That's so weird. Looks like they're all wearing balaclavas. I think reloading a game worked last time this happened. Except not this time, apparently. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, dynamic lighting doesn't help. There's a way to fix this. We'll just have to live with it. Won't we? Oh, right. Dis wait, disable rendering. Okay, that... <laughs> that, was, that was a bad idea. Let's not do that. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> um, cool. Whatever. I'm, I'm cool with it. It's fine. Could sit playing around with this nonsense for ages. Whatever. It's cool. Oh, cap slot makes you go into prema walk mode. I guess that's vaguely useful, except not really. I like the fireplace. I only bloody can. There we go. You're welcome, lads. There we go. Whatever. Right, ladies and gents. saving the game. It's been a pleasure, but I must leave you now. Uh, as we sit here by the campfire in the new camp. No, mud in new camp. True. Very true. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's been fun, guys. I will see you again next weekend for more of the same. At the same time, I will say hello to Colin for you, yeah. And I, uh, I hope you all enjoyed it and had fun, because I did. It's good stuff. It's, it's a very unforgiving game, this. But at the same time, it's sort of like, it's unforgiving, but also like, as long as you quick save often enough, and, you know, it's generally not such a big deal. So I just, I don't really mind quite so much. It doesn't, not, there's not, you know, there's not a lot of bullshit in the game, you know, you know what I mean? Like... There's not a lot of moments where I've been like, oh, that is so unfair. You know, it's sort of mostly the game's playing by its own rules, which is nice. So, um, it's a bit of a Collins dinner. Oh, thanks, well on. He will, he'll appreciate it. Like, not directly, but like when he's tucking into his next round of turkey uh, pouches or whatever, he'll, 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 he'll enjoy. Anyway, cheers, my dears. Uh, is, is very Axel straight? Chats? Is he possibly maybe streaming? He, he is, apparently. He's playing some XCOM 2. So we're going to go raid Mr. Variax. Everybody. I keep forgetting to raid lately. Sometimes I'm in a bit of a rush to leave, actually. But uh, today, not so much. So Go say hi to V for me. Uh, hopefully he's doing alright with XCOM 2. I mean, I, I found XCOM 2 a little bit too easy last time I played it, if I'm honest with you. So I'm sure he's doing okay. But anyway, go say hi. And I'll catch you next time, everybody. Doodaloo!